guys, welcome back to Phantom Weather Channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing my second update for the winter storm that is expected in Montana and also some areas south of that, south of that as well. I um, can see some heavy snow accumulations and some light snow accumulations as well. Um, when I was looking at the winter storm watch, I thought this was going to issue a blizzard warning, and it did. You can see that uh, the National Weather Service office in Great Falls, Montana, has issued a blizzard warning for portions of northwest central Montana. Uh, which is that red region right here. We have a flood advisory northwest of that. And then those pink regions right there is where we see winter storm warnings that are active. And those dark blues, we still see winter storm watches. You can see we have a few more of those winter storm watches in northwestern uh, Arizona and south southwestern Utah. We also have some winter weather advisories and also some winter storm warnings. Um, those winter weather advisories are those uh, bluish purple regions there. But we're definitely expecting a pretty significant snowstorm for uh, Montana throughout this weekend. We're expecting 9 to 18 inches of snow with areas local, locally over 24 inches. And for that red shaded area right there where a blizzard warning got issued, um, we are expecting um, heavy blowing snow that could be uh, reaching wind speeds of up to 55 miles per hour along with locally two feet of snow. Um, so if you want to get all the details for your uh, current area, uh, be sure to stay up to date with the National Weather Service in Great Falls, Montana, and other areas, too, in the, in, in the event these winter storm watches become winter storm warnings. Uh, driving will be very dangerous, if not impossible, for the areas in those red regions. So stay on the lookout if you're anywhere in those regions. But now that you've seen where the blizzard warnings, winter storm watches, and winter storm warnings have been issued, what I'm going to do now is take you guys to the Tropical Tidbits website so you guys can see the simulated radar and the total snow accumulations that are expected with this storm. Alright, so I apologize for having to flip the camera around. This is just so we can see it a little bit better. It's a little bit easier to work with. Um, you can see up here on the right side over here, this is where it is color-coded to how much rain, freezing rain, sleet, or snow accumulations we're supposed to get. Um, so you can see that right there. So I'm going to be taking you guys through the simulated radar so you can see what's supposed to happen. This is currently right now. We have some light snow accumulations, to potentially moderate, in central Montana. Down through a line extending from California, pretty narrow area there. We're expecting some light snow accumulations. This is going to be every six hours that this radar moves. And by this point on Saturday, November 7th, which is tomorrow by the time I'm making this video, we're experiencing some heavy, moderate to heavy snow accumulations that would have tapered off from California into Nevada. I believe we have some winter storm warnings or at least winter weather advisories active in Nevada. Um, so by tomorrow morning, definitely be on the lookout for some moderate to heavy snow accumulations. And then you can see this is where we're going to visibly see the uh, winter storm brewing um, by tomorrow. It's not quite going to reach Montana. We might see some light snow accumulations by this point. And then eventually you can see by later in the day on Sunday, November 8th, um, you can see that this starts to dip into Idaho, northwestern Montana, and then also uh, looks like some of Oregon, Washington, and Nevada as well. This is when it's going to start to come. Uh, if you guys don't know, those black regions, right, those uh, black strips right there, um, the closer they are together, this indicates higher winds. Um, so remember, we're expecting to have uh, 55 mile per hour winds combined with up to two feet of snow. Um, very um, widespread areas getting over a foot. So it's definitely going to cause some very hazardous conditions. Let me take this over here really quick. Okay, and this is by later in the day, far later in the day, on Sunday, November 8th. And you can see, if you didn't notice in my last video, I put squalls were expected for some of Colorado, Wyoming, and Utah. Because you can see right here, and it's changed a little bit, it's not as... Um, widespread and organized. It looks like it's a little bit more scattered. You can see we're experiencing a very scattered area of um, very heavy snow for southwestern uh, Colorado, but it's uh, a pretty local area, so it's, it's hard to tell if that's really going to do much of an impact for that area there. It's a little bit more widespread up here in western Wyoming. And then eventually you can see right here by um, far later in the day, also on Sunday, November 8th, those winds get really strong and we are dealing with some very heavy snow accumulations that is about three to six inches at this point for central Montana. And then by this point, this is on Monday morning, November 9th, and you can see that this is again still bringing really high winds to um uh, northeastern, sorry, Montana, and then eventually it's going to be cutting in a little bit to western North Dakota, and then eventually it's going to uh, start tapering off into freezing rain and sleet in Canada, and then eventually transition to rain. Uh, so if you're in North Dakota or South Dakota, I wouldn't uh, expect really significant snow accumulations. You could see a little bit 
Um, but really, I just see rain and potentially a little tiny area of sleet for you guys. And then eventually, this is again by late in the day on Monday. And I'll just take it all the way to Tuesday. And you can see by this point, it looks like we could actually have another storm system coming through by this point. Uh, the snow system's uh, pretty much tapered off. We still have some light to uh, very uh, scattered moderate snow accumulations also in Wyoming, especially Colorado, and then also Arizona and Utah. Um, you can see this is about the time it's going to run out. We have some heavy rain accumulations transitioning off of that system into Wisconsin and Minnesota. Also some other surrounding areas. It looks like Iowa as well. So right now what I'm going to do really quickly is show you guys what the uh, sped up version of this would look like. And be sure to pay attention to this area up here so you can see what that's going to look like. This is just so you guys can see what the system is going to evolve into. That's about what it's going to look like. So you can see that it starts off as just kind of nothing. And the system will drop as a clipper from Canada. And eventually it'll bring some um, scattered areas that'll kind of shoot uh, southwest of that into Nevada and California. And the big stuff is going to stay in Montana. That's what's going to cause the uh, really heavy winter storm and blizzard accumulations. Um, but then we're also, again, south of that, we're expecting some snow accumulations that could come off of that too. Also some heavy snow accumulations. And then eventually I'm going to just take this all the way to Tuesday, November 10th, so you guys can kind of get a preview of it. This is not our actual storm. Um, this is just a preview of it. You can see by this point we're seeing some snow accumulations in Washington and Oregon as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to see more videos, be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you have anything that you want to see, a weather-related topic of any sort, be sure to write me in the comment section down below, and I'll try to make a video just for you guys. Stay safe, and until next time, Phantom Squad.